Alright, so this video is going to give you kind of a tour of Office 365 and kind of some of the basic things that you can do with it to kind of help you um, navigate through Office 365 a bit better and use applications other than just simple email. Um, <clears throat> so if you sign into Office 365 by using your Coastal account, you'll see that you basically get signed into your um, student email, your Office 365 Outlook email. If you click the waffle icon on the top left, you can actually view a list of applications that are included as a part of your, or, you know, our Office 365 um, subscription. Based within Office 365, there are some of your more common Office applications like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. They're all kind of right here in this little square here. So all of these are fully functional, um, fully featured web application versions of the full standalone Microsoft you know, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel applications. So for example, if I wanted to start and work on a PowerPoint, I could click on the PowerPoint button. It will load. Um, it might take a second or two to load, depending on network connections and stuff like that. And once it loads, you actually see that there are um, templates here and a screen that looks very similar to what would be the standard or, you know, or standalone version of Microsoft PowerPoint. So I click new blank PowerPoint or presentation. It will load <clears throat> me into PowerPoint online. And once this loads, the interface will look exactly like the interface would as if I were doing this or on a standalone version of Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, so let's say I'm in this PowerPoint. I could change the PowerPoint. Okay, this is my test presentation. Okay, every document that you create using these methods, using the online application versions, automatically gets saved into your OneDrive. So these can be saved for later, or they can be extracted and downloaded to be edited in standalone versions of these applications. So you see there's a button right here that says Open in PowerPoint. I could actually download this presentation, let's say if I started it and I wanted to take it with me. Uh, to use on a standalone version of PowerPoint. I could uh, open it in PowerPoint or I could actually do file and then save a copy straight to um, a thumb drive or some, anything like that and save it and use it as a uh, standalone versus using the web-based applications. Um, you can actually share these documents. So let's say I've got this document I want and I'm working together with somebody and I want them to have access to it. I could click the share button right here and once it finishes thinking <clears throat> it will load a window that looks like this. This will send the link to recipients. <clears throat> okay, so I could do this right there <clears throat> and then I can send this link to um, myself and uh, so that I have, would have access to editing this file and then a link to test presentation has been sent and you can see it's a .pptx so it's a regular standard PowerPoint file these aren't crazy files that are created in the web version of these applications so when these presentations are created, they get put into your OneDrive or any document that you make in um, Office 365, they get dumped into your OneDrive. So if I go to the same waffle icon and then I clicked on OneDrive, and once my OneDrive loads, we know that I saved it as test presentation. And when I scroll to the very bottom, you'll see, hey, there's a presentation called test presentation two minutes ago. And 
since I see, shared it with essentially myself, it only loads in that I share it, that it's I can only view it. But when you share it with someone else, it will look like this right here, that it's been shared with somebody, okay? And then also that, that way they would have access to the file or anything that you have in your OneDrive. <clears throat> also, in, one, in Office 365, you have the ability to download and install standalone versions of, the, of Microsoft Office applications on up to five Macs and P or PCs. To do this, once you're signed in, um, you can click your name in the top right corner and go to my account. Once you click my account, it sends you to your account information as if you would any sort of, you know, account or website. If you click on install status along the left side, it will show you the number of computers that you have applications installed on. So as I said, you can install standalone desktop applications on up to five Macs and or PCs. Okay, so as you can see, I've got two Windows-based PCs, and I've got one MacBook uh, that I'm currently on right now that I'm that I have activated. So I could install standalone Office on two more com uh, computers. So you can see there are a button here that says Install Desktop Applications. When I click on that, the system automatically detects what operating system you're using, and instantly recommends which installation of um, Office should be installed on your system. So like I said, since I'm using a Mac, it recommends that I install Office 2016 for Mac, and then these are the installate, uh, programs that will be installed. So, and there's the install button right here along the bottom of the screen. Okay, also you can install these applications on phones and tablets. Um, separate installation uh, procedures are available for those, but they can you can install these on phones and tablets as well as your PCs and Macs. All right, so those are some of the ways that you can um, access the web-based versions of the Office applications, kind of how to share documents, how to access them, and then also if you wanted to install standalone versions of these applications, the location for the links to install Microsoft Office on your computer.